This is Sims, and we are back with more of The Sims 4 Falling Stars, which is our star sign solar system legacy challenge, and so much happened last time. Everybody aged up. Twinsies are now toddlers. I know, I know. Next week, the new pack comes out, and we could have infants, but like, whatever. It is what it is. Um, they were accidents anyway. Uh, but um, I was going to say Kyoshi, but that's not right. <laughs> Look, Indiana looks a lot like Yoshi, so it's kind of confusing up in here. Um, anyway, I keep wanting to call him Taco too, but anyway, Indiana aged up to a teen. Rio and London are are twins. I mean, yeah, I mean, they're toddlers, and we got a new house, and I redecorated said new house. So I am going to go into Cass first, so we can check out our lovely Sims now. Um. London and Rio don't matter. Poor London and Rio. But they don't because they weren't even supposed to exist. They were accidents. And it is what it is. So don't you dare. You go away for a hot second. We're not looking at you. Um, so we'll look at the twins and then we'll talk about Indiana. So, But anyway, they ended up with heterochromia. I can't remember if Indiana had that as a toddler and then grew out of it. Like, whatever. So I just left it on them. But, you know, this is her winter outfit. But there was little London with... Grandpa Ashton's hair. That's her winter outfit. Okay, so we have her little everyday outfit. Yeah. Um, there's her little face, you know. You know, I can't tell. Like, they're supposed to have changed it so they don't all have toddler same face. But, like, I don't know. Like, I don't know. They all kind of still look like cute little potatoes to me. Like, potatoes in the best way. You know what I mean? But, like, anyway, there's her formal outfit. That's also her party wear. I think for formal and party <laughs> This pajama set, but it looks, it makes it look like she's got a pillow stuffed in it. Like, I don't know what it is. It's so funny. Like, like she's average size, but this makes her look like a little puffle lump. I love it. It's kind of cute. Anyway, yeah, her party is the same because we never see party or formal. So I didn't like waste time too much. Um, Her little swimwear outfit. We've got her little hot weather outfit. And then you already saw her cold weather outfit. And then we have Rio. We'll look at, that's his hot weather, out, I mean, cold weather outfit, but whatever. Here you go. Again, actually, yeah, because he does look, a, maybe he does look a little different. I don't know. Anyway, um, it's also the hair. But, you know, again, mostly Yoshi hair going on here. And he got, like, the heterochromy too, but, like, a brown eye. It's interesting. But, anyway, everyday little outfit. Hi, bird, simmer down. Come here. Come here, bird. Formal outfit. Again, also his party wear outfit. Um, PJs. Whoopsie. Sorry. It's like, I don't know how to play this game. Again, party wear, same as formal. Uh, his swimwear. Look at the cute little whale. His summer outfit, hot weather outfit. That's what I was thinking. And then his little coat. They're freaking adorable. And then we have our boy, Indiana, who is the main character, basically. So that's his, uh, Cold weather outfit, you know, which we're obviously wearing, you know, whatnot. And for him, his color is white. But I did also say I might do like mix in a little bit of light blue or gray. I think we have blue later on. So maybe we'll do different shades of blue. I kind of kept in white and gray. I kind of kept that color palette because we do have black later on. Um, but white is extremely hard. Not everything is white. Um, but the same thing with his room, so. But most of his outfits are white or kind of gray. Again, this one's got some black in it, but, you know, I mean, for the most part. So, anyway, this is his main outfit. Uh, look at his adorable little face. He is, like, a freckled little Kiyoshi. It's, like, ridiculous. And then the only thing a taco he got were his eyes. Bird, could you come sit with me over here and stop? Okay, good. Thank you. Um... And because Indiana is our resident gloomy family oriented geek, uh, right now he's just a gloomy geek. Um, and he's got to play online computer games. He's got to go to geek con all the time and everything like that. As we did with a child, he has like cosplay kind of outfits. So I did one is every day and the other two is party wear. Um, because I figured like, 
with party wear, it would be more like, oh, that's special event kind of a thing. But one of them is every day and it is the most outrageous one. And I'm like, he's going to be walking around in that and I'm going to forget who the hell it is for a hot second. But anyway, his normal outfit, we might give him more eventually later too. Cause like, then we've got this one again, it's more gray than it is white, but it's fine. And then his first cosplay outfit. <laughs> I don't know who he's cosplaying. It's just a, cos whatever it is. It's a character. Just go with it. I had so much fun though. I was like, God, this is so good. Like, um, because I could put the white hair and everything on and like, because his other hair, two different custom hairs, it didn't matter if I changed the color. Cause that's the only thing I was like, I want to be able to put like wigs on him for his costumes, but I don't want to, you know, worry about, I can't put red hair on him for a costume and then his other hair, but because you're using custom content and they don't have the same color palettes, it doesn't matter. Like if I used like his, um, uh, his regular hair is mood. And if I use different mood hair, they would have to be the same color, but because this is a different creator and it's obviously like, then it's fine. So he's going to walk around in this just randomly. And I'm going to be like, who the hell? Oh, right. I'm going to forget. But anyway, um, we have our formal wear. I love his little heart socks. They're so cute, you know, but again, and I, it's the, like his, we br brushed his hair back. I know he doesn't kind of have like the hair down at the nape. It's fine. We'll just, you know what I mean? It's not perfect, but you know, like he slicked it back a little, a little bit fancier. Um, we have our athletic, which where we put our, I'm pretty sure this is the geek con shirt. I couldn't remember. I'm like, which one's the geek con shirt? I think that's it. But, um, put the geek con shirt on, you know? Oh, and he also has like nail polish on. Like, uh, let's go down here. Go down to our body. Accessories. Let's go down. We've always got our black, gray, white kind of nails going on, you know? Um, except for when he's in this cosplay because you can't, fingernails and gloves don't work together. Even if they're fingerless gloves because the game thinks that you have fingers covered. Anyway, um, I mean, you can put the nail polish on. It's just not going to show up. Um, his sleepwear and yes, I know it's a black shirt, but it's a black butler shirt. And I was like, we're going full on with our anime shit. I also have, oh, I forgot to put the Yuri on Ice posters in his room. All right, we can figure that out later. Um, but like, I have, a, I was like, we need to do all these anime shirts. It'll be great. Anyway, so his party wear, um, like I wasn't going to put turnip head when I have this shirt and it's freaking white. I love it. I love this child so much. <laughs> but anyway, so here's his normal party wear. Oh, hell's moving castle. And it's turnip head. I love turnip head. I have little tiny plastic ones that kind of, they're supposed to be like little pot decorations. Kind of had to tie them around like those little plastic, you know, uh, drink swords, you know, little swords that you get in drinks sometimes that have like fruit on them or whatever. Kind of had to tie them around one of those because the little stick is way too flimsy. Um, but I have a couple little turnip heads sitting in my plants downstairs just because. Anyway, so there's that. And his first cosplay over here, um, like I wasn't going, I didn't have the right hair, obviously, but like I wasn't going to dress him up like Joker from Persona 5, Persona 5, right? Come on. This is amazing. I was like flipping through doing different things and I had a other, another costume on him that I put on. We'll see that one next. And then I did this one and I'm like, why can't he have both? So this one's a legit character. And cause I had it, I was like, I couldn't resist downloading it. I'm like, I don't know when I'm ever going to use it. Cause I'm not a hundred percent. Like if I made Joker from persona five, but like I haven't yet. Well, technically we have, but he wasn't wearing this costume. You know what I mean? But anyway, so yeah, we got the mask. We got the whole costume. It's great. And the next one I did just for kicks because I find it funny. Like he's fucking Malleus from <laughs> Twisted Wonderland. <laughs> I wish I had like the dorm uniform, but all I have is like the birthday suit or the um the regular uniforms. Uh, but like Raccoonium makes the hair and stuff when I was making my Twisted Wonderland characters. One of you guys told me about that. And I was like, sweet. And so... He's, they made the socks and they made the suit. And I was so I was like, I can't resist this. They're not the right horns, obviously, because Raccoonium doesn't have the horns. And I couldn't find so it just did the best we could. But like, that's actually Raccoonium's like Malleus hair, too. <laughs> I was like, 
there's no way I could resist this. It's too funny. So, yeah. So, <laughs> I had a fun time with him. I really did. Uh, as you could tell. Anyway, then we have our swimwear back to being normal. We've got our hot weather outfit, and you saw his cold weather outfit. And we might put on other things, and I do wish we could copy easily, like, outfits to move. Because it would be kind of nice if we could save styled looks. You know what I mean? Like, if I could save this as a styled look, and then I could slap it on as, like, hot weather or cold weather. So, like, when the next Geek Con comes up, if it's in the middle of summer... Then, you know, oh, and you know what I didn't do? I didn't save my family to my gallery. Let me save them. I didn't save them after I did them. I like to save every version. I don't think I did, but if I have two copies of them, that's fine and dandy. But I love our little geeky, nerdy child. He makes me proud. Um, I should have put him in a Starfleet uniform because I'm pretty sure I have those somewhere in my game as well. Just because... This game and it's goddamn Star Wars pack that made me put Star Wars shit in his room. I'm actually not too mad about it. Uh, because I'm like, look, I'm mad about the Star Wars pack existing. But the build by in the cast is, is pretty good. And to be honest, it works out for him putting some of like the stuff around the room, which kind of looks like nerdy Comic-Con kind of stuff. Like I say nerdy, but like as I look around in all the anime and Otome merch and game merch and shit all over my house, so... I get it. I'm in the same boat. We all nerds together. It's okay. Geeks and nerds. Like, people that used to be an insult. Now you're like, thanks. I'm awesome. Anyway. So, we redid the entire house. Every single thing. Um, so, we've got, like, a little outdoor... Outdoor? Outdoor area? Outdoor area. And, okay. Wait, where'd it go? I'm gonna go into build mode for a hot second. It'll be a little bit easier. Um, I know there's a shrimp lamp, but I couldn't resist. And I was doing the kitchen and then I wanted to put the hot pot out. And then I was like, oh, we need the kotatsu, you know? And so we have an entire room just for that. But like, and I was like, oh, I mean, hi, that makes sense. Freaking Kiyoshi is from Mount Komorebi, right? And like our grandfather lived there. Okay, well, Akko's grandfather, right? Colorado lived there, was a politician there, whatever. Like, Indiana's like, so I'm like, that is like, you know, the Japanese, or in this case, just Asian esque inspired things. So we're kind of just lumping it all together because it's not like we have a specific, like, Mount Komorebi is based off Japan, but like, there are custom content things and whatever that are more like Chinese influence kind of things. But I'm like, and I'm not trying to be weird or anything. Like, I think all Asian people are the same. So let's not get up my ass on that, okay? Like, but it's like, eh, if it's Asian-inspired kind of stuff, we're going to kind of lump that into Mount Komorebi and be like, anything kind of that would fit, you know? Because it's not specifically 100% Japan. This is Sims Japan, which could just, we're just going to put it all, you know. So there are some things from Felix Andre. I think he does have like a more... Chinese style kind of like custom content pack and then there's stuff because now it's all free on CurseForge because it can't be locked behind a paywall forever anymore so just throwing that out there if you like his stuff but you thought it was kind of douchey that it was always perma paywalled it's not anymore ah, you could go get the old stuff because like his Kyoto set is beautiful that's where some of this and I'm not sure which one this came from but I couldn't resist. It's the cutest freaking lamp. And I was like, I know it's a little weird, but like any kind of like Asian-esque kind of like little pieces that we can put here and there that like say were Kiyoshi's or they were his like heirlooms or anything like that so that he feels like a little less like an outsider here, you know? Although I got to be honest, Kiyoshi's probably freaking thrilled because we went from, we dragged that man out of living in like a colder climate on a mountain, Mount Komorebi, right? To, like, living in a desert, so he must be happy as a clam here. But anyway, so we've got a little tree here there for him, too. Um, and so we just got our little outdoor area right there. We've got, I put up our Christmas decorations. Um, that was something Taco had made, so I put it out here. This is our table from our other house. I did change the chairs. It does drive me crazy that the wood on the chairs doesn't match the wood table-like, but let's not talk about it anymore, because every time I see it, it makes me a little bit mad. 
but I like those chairs. I want the blue on those chairs, and I don't want to change that to the solid blue. So whatever. I put it outside because I didn't have a place for it. Um, but then we also have these little things, which I think were all from one of Felix Andre's like packs, and I was like, it's perfect. Why is my roof like not okay anyway? Um, but you know what I mean? So okay. And then we come into our little entryway. Yay. Anyway. So we've got all of our Christmas decorations and stuff up of stuff up. I use the minty colored tree. Okay. Here's the other thing with this. Um, actually, you know what? I will let everybody run around and do their own thing. Um, are you still paused where I oh crap. No, you're fine. Never mind. That was a kitchen. I, all right. I'll tell you later why, if I remember, I'll probably forget, but, um, all right, fine. I kind of forgot. And I was like, oh yeah, I guess we should because he's a nerd. So I got him a lightsaber because, you know, I can dig that out of build by cause you know, whatever. So he has a lightsaber and he was playing with it in the kitchen. <laughs> So I had him put like the stone into the, I've never gone to Batu, and I never freaking will probably, but I was like, oh, I guess I need this and the crystal. And I got the white one and I had him put it together. I'm like, look, so now he's got a lightsaber. Look, <sighs> lightsabers are cool and droids are cool. So like not begrudging the Star Wars pack for that. So whatever. Anyway, the, the thing about this is like most of the colors in here, like you can see, these are like a deeper teal kind of color. Mint is really fucking hard. So some of our things lean more toward there's neon kind of mint. There's a little bit more sea foam. There's things that are a little more blue tinted. There's the dark teal. I did the best we could. Okay, let's just work with it. Let's not, semantics is not perfect. But anyway, so we just have this little thing in our entry so we can do our decor box. I'm going to let them go about their business. Again, I put our Christmas decorations up. Um, We've got all of our little stuff here. I know, technically that's like a menorah, but, you know, holiday lights, we're just blending everything together. And this is from Batu as well, but it matched perfectly, so. And then my favorite part of this room is our freaking gallery wall. Look at this. Oh, can we actually... Warmer, we want our thermostat on. Don't go playing with that droid! Don't you do that yet! Anyway, so our gallery wall, I love this. Um, most of them are ravishing frames. There's frames from someone I cannot remember who, um, but CC kind of frames so you can slap your pictures into them. So love that for us. And then we come into this room and this was going to be our family kind of room. Uh, I freaking love this crazy wallpaper. We got some more pictures up over here. Oh God. Yeah. Hold on. Okay, we'll pause because I want to do Christmas, but I want to show you the house first. So put up some more kind of like Japanese slash Asian kind of art over here. Like Kiyoshi brought those. Um, we've got like a little area kind of corner over here for the toddlers to play. This was Indiana's Void Critter Station. I don't think he can still play it as a teenager. I thought I had that mod in, but I guess not. Um, but anyway, it's down there. And then this our TV with our thing. Uh, a frog that I'm not sure where we got from. Maybe we got it from Selva Dorada. I don't know, but I put one of our baskets here. And then I added this onto the house. Uh, we have this wing over here because we didn't have a room for Taco Station and it's too cold for him to do it outside. Um, so I just put this here, slap some other stuff down and around. So it's like all his sciency lab. And then we have the kids. Uh, station science station over here so they could kind of like work together and then obviously that because you know it's a late that's house on fire and then over here well this is our first bathroom so it's all like turquoisey or like our minty as minty kind of as we can get so nothing too fancy you know what i mean so whatnot that's that and then this room became this was the last room i did and it's kind of a fucking mess it's like a hodgepodge mess, but whatever. So I really wanted to use this like thing. So that's why it's here. And then like our wood's dark wood and then that's white and it doesn't, nothing fucking matches really in here. It kind of drives me a little crazy because it's kind of chaos. That's how I decorate my real house. But when I decorate my Sims house, I want things to match better. But I realize like reality is chaos. So it's fine. Um, we've got our family photo up here. We've got just some things. And then obviously our stuff from... Uh, when we went to Selva Dorada. So this is Taco's like kind of computer gaming station from 
like when he had as a kid and whatnot. I put it in here and put his things. And then I put up these shelves so that he could put all of his pictures with him in Colorado when they went to Selva Dorada and all the little things, his little collectible things are up there. Um, and then we just have this little section over here. This I think is like a Chinese game, but whatever we're going with it. Let's just, shh. um, you know, instead of a chess table, um, and then we're just kind of putting these, like the kimonos and the hori kind of things, just as if they were like family heirlooms that Kiyoshi had, you know, type of a thing. Same with the screen, whatnot. So kind of just mix that in and he's got his own little corner kind of thing. Um, we had to put the desk there because the room that became our Japanese tea room over here is basically, and our like kotatsu room was the den where there was a computer station and like... After I put that, I was like, crap. So anyway, so our bar, which I, I kind of left, but obviously we changed everything. Um, and then I changed up our kitchen. So I just, at the, everything's in the same place. I just changed. God damn it. All right. This, I don't know what's happening here. Like every time you do anything, these just nothing stays where they're supposed to. I don't know why these won't stay on top of our thing and those go in uh indiana's bathroom they won't stay on the shelf like what the fuck killing me like i guess i can just put them like not on their i have no idea why they place but then they don't like stay like it's driving me crazy anyway um like i'd only put them there as like decorative stuff but i guess whatever just to spice it up. But every time I blink, they go back in and I have no idea why. Like, it's crazy. Like, the last time it happened, I was like, oh, it must have been because I fixed a wallpaper. I haven't fucking done shit. So why the hell are they? I don't know. Anyway, so our kitchen and everything. We've got our cute little dining room. And then we have our fancy little, like, kotatsu slash tea room with our all that stuff in there. And that it was after I did the kitchen and then I put that and I'm like, oh yeah, Kiyoshi deserves some representation. Poor Kiyoshi. Whatever. We come upstairs and we have, oh my God, my frame rates are goddamn awful. What the fuck? Anyway, we come up here and this is going to be another area where we could slap up more family pictures, but there's not really anything on this wall as of right now. A few things, but like we don't have any other photos. Um, And this is London's room. She's even got her name on a light. <laughs> I found that by accident. I was like, oh yeah, that came with like some bag. We'll put it in here. Um, so her room, I know everything's supposed to be mint, but that is for uh taco, not really. And then Rio and London don't matter. No offense to them, but they don't. So I just made her room all sorts of pinks and purples and colorful shit. So that's her little room. And I put down all the like other little toddler kind of different toddler toys in here. Um, so she's got some, Rio's got other ones. Uh, this is Kiyoshi and uh, Taco's bathroom. Not a huge fan of it. Like, I don't know. I did this a couple times and I know I wanted that bathtub and whatever. And I like these things because you can put all the stuff like the razor and the things on there. The new toothbrushes. But like, it is what it is. I'm just going to leave it because I'm tired of trying to fix it. But um, and then their bedroom. So wait. All right, you know, anyway, I'll fix that and make sure they have sleeping on the right side of the bed. So we've just got their picture over here, just a bunch of different stuff up. Um, again, another like family heirloom kind of thing, just plants and decorations, just their little vanity thing, um, which I want to thinking I should put in Indiana's room, put one, but it doesn't quite fit. But anyway, and then this is their dresser and they've got some photos over here. Taco's got his old chair from high school, whatnot. So we kind of kept all that stuff. This is the kids' bathroom. Um, Indiana's got his own, so this is Rio and London's bathroom. I really wanted to use this wallpaper. Unfortunately, I don't have a solid color that matches, but this blue is fine. And again, this isn't this is more bluish than mint, but like whatever. And I'm sorry, but whoever decided that these stickers should go in the bathroom pack, I love them and I hate them at the same time. I love them, but I hate them because these are too cute and they kill me. But no, I really love them for it because these things are so stupidly cute. Like, look at how stupid this shark looks. He's so goofy and I love it. And like, I love these stickers. And I was like, I want to use these. And it, I wanted to use this wallpaper. And I was like, well, that's perfect. So um, so their little bathroom is all like, look at that freaking turtle. Why is it so stupidly cute? Look at its dumb eyes. I love it. 
anyway, so they're all there. All these different little accessory things are all over the place, um, you know, and whatnot. The jellyfish, like all that stuff. Uh, and then this is Rio's room. His room's a little bit bigger, but like, you know, whatever. London and Rio are going to be going into each other's rooms to play. But like, for God's sakes, I love his freaking room. It's so fucking cute. Like, it is just adorable with all of his little shit all over the place. All the color. Oh, my God. I love it. Anyway. I wanted to use that bed um, that like London has the pink one and then they had the brown, the green one. And I was like, all right, so Rio's getting green colors. And then it matched so well with all the tiny traveler stuff, this little thing that they can play with the two, everything. So, so they got toys split up between them in their rooms and then a little bit downstairs. Um, and then this is her boy's room. So he's supposed to be mostly like white and gray. I know the wallpaper's black, but I didn't have a good gray kind of space one. And I really liked this, these are lights, so I just put those up. This is his like make. That's a desk from Batu. Don't hate it. Not mad about it. It works for him. Um, so not that he can really do makeup on this. These don't function or whatever. But like this would be like where he'd get ready. I'm imagining that maybe he's got cosplay stuff like in these trunks and whatever because his wardrobe's not huge. But like whatever. Um, so that's that kind of little area. We'll put pictures in this eventually. Um, I was going to use the dream home decorator shelving, but again, like everything else in this fucking place, the shit just like they kept disappearing. Like, and I'm like, what the hell? These are supposed to go in this little basket, but this tray, I guess, just doesn't want to work. They were like kind of just sitting in the tray just for a little added effect, but they keep disappearing. So whatever. I don't understand it. But anyway, so those still, and I remember them happening in a different let's play where like the drawers and the things kept disappearing and i was like what the frick so i don't want to deal with that with all of his like knickknacks and stuff that i was going to set in there like constantly having to put it back out so i just put these bookshelves in um that's the dream home decorator one but then yeah he's got all of his nerdy stuff around there's stuff from that too i'm really freaking mad that they made me put a millennium falcon in here but i can't put a starship enterprise like that's why i should have put him in a starfleet uniform but whatever He's got a little BB here. Oh, and all the little collectibles and stuff that he's gathered. And, like, all this stuff. Yes, his color's supposed to be, like, white, maybe gray. And a lot of this is all random colored. But that's it's all his collectibles. They're not going to be, like, white. You know what I mean? So so that's all his collectibles. He's got a little bookshelf over here. He's got his little corner with all his posters and stuff from a kid. Um, You know, just all this little clutter. There's a little bench he could sit at. That's his computer desk over here. We got him a nicer computer. Oh my God. I keep forgetting to change the freaking computer goddamn any file and fix this shit. It's pissing me off. I was doing it every time I was building and I forgot over the last few days. But anyway, um, you know, his bulletin board so he can put up his postcards that he collects. His little just seating area. He's got a droid. Okay. I put that in there yesterday and I was like, actually I put it in there last night when I got him his lightsaber. And I was like, I just want to pretend that because Taco is a mechanical engineer and does all that stuff and works on robotics and stuff like that, that maybe they put it to, they did it together like when Indiana was a kid. You know what I mean? Like, I know, like, he wouldn't have been doing much, but maybe he was there with his dad and he helped him pick out stuff out. And, like, it was like a project they did together. And that's why he's got one. Um, You know, and then, you know, this is his bed. And my favorite thing. Hold on. I'll show you my favorite thing after. Um, this is his bathroom, so it's mostly gray and white. Okay, it's fabulous. He's got those star lights up again. We just have a shower, messy towels, because he's a teenage boy. Oh, he doesn't have a freaking rug in here. Oh, I forgot. Oh, well, it's fine. We'll figure it out later. I thought I put one, but I guess not. Huh. Well, anyway, let's actually do that, because it's going to drive me crazy now that I know. We got to find a color. We need a white or a gray rug. Let's just find something to kind of put down. What's... Uh-oh. Oh, you know what? We can do a nifty... No, it's too big. Do we have something... We can... I don't want that fur one. We can just... That looks wooden, doesn't it? it? looks like a wood mat. I don't want that. I want like an actual nice kind of rug gonna like this is i don't know why i decided that now was the time to do this because like but if i don't put a rug in here it's gonna drive me crazy and this is such a waste of time. 
You came here to watch this episode, right? So, like, whatever. This is what we're doing. I'm going to find myself the right rug. This is why I don't do builds. Because it's like, nah, nah. I don't know. Maybe we can do this. I don't know. Let's do this. We can just... This is the one that's under your bed, isn't it? Mm. You can shrink them, obviously. See, but that one's got brown on it. You know what? I mean, that one could kind of work. It's just kind of like, it's going to be a little crooked, but that's, you know what? Not the one I want. Ow. Damn it. Come on. That's too fancy. Oh, oh, well, you know what? That's kind of cute. You can just put that, you know what? I'm just going to put it like that. You need one out of the shower, but like, I don't think we have anything really small enough. And I don't want to have another giant rug. Oh, well, wait. Everything's giant. Do we not just have like a small fucking rug? I mean, those are going to cats and dogs ones, but that's all I really want is something small like that. But I don't want to put like a cat rug in here. I mean, because you should have one when you get out of the shower. You know what I mean? That's fine. And then you go, okay, it's fine. It's not perfect, but it's fine. Whatever. Anyway, my favorite piece of custom content in this is, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, there we go. Here we go. There we go. Ta-da! Indiana's photos! Yay! I'd say my first piece of custom content, but that's not true. I made necklace conversions for male sims because most of the time the ones for female sims don't work on male sims so i took them into blender and like converted them for male sims for myself to use really difficult because like you do it and you're like oh this looks great and then you put it in the game and you're like it's way too wide for the neck and then it's like i just i was like eh. but i did do a bunch of those but it doesn't really count because it's basically just swapping the body style and adjusting it a little bit pain in the ass and sometimes the textures don't work right but anyway I made this. I'm happy. It's good. I did this as practice because I wanted to make for my other Sim who is going to be in an, in the acting career. I want to make like, I want to take pictures of him when he's doing his stuff. And it's like, that's great. It's going to be screenshots, but how do I freaking do it? So anyway, these are the pictures that we took with him. And there you go. So now we've seen everything. And yeah, he's got, okay, so we can put this stuff away. I can put your birthday cake away. Where the hell is my refrigerator? This is, look at these, like, freaking triplets over here. I get so confused because Kiyoshi's also wearing white, but Kiyoshi and Indiana look so much alike. Oh, my God. Enthuse about resistance. I just grabbed a white robot. I have no idea which one is what and what they do. And like, I thought you can get them to follow you around and I know you can play with your lightsaber. Oh my God, that it does move. Enthuse about resistance. Enthuse about first order. He just did that on his own. This is amazing. <laughs> I'm not mad about this. Look, I hate the whole stupid Star Wars pack. Because I am not a Star Wars fan. And I'm so tired of Star Wars being shoved down my throat. But droids are cute. And uh. Oh my god we can name it. What do we name oh my god. Hey grandpa. Oh we're going to just ignore him. Okay whatever that's fine. Are you guys sleeping? Listen you bastards. I'm going to need you to get up. Go pee. I'm going to need you to get up. You're fine. You don't even need to sleep. You're going to go complain about the resistance. Oh, my God. Are they going to constantly be playing with a stupid robot? Like, because that's going to. Anyway, we need to make. We have an invite over. Going on. Bird, stop it. Don't you dare bite my headset, you bastard. He's playing with the siblings. That's cute. I'm going to have you come over here and cook a grand meal. Let's make a turkey dinner. Um... You playing? Oh my god! I keep gonna. I'm gonna confuse Kiyoshi and Indiana so freaking much. Could you? 
toddler care. Change his diaper for me, please. Or not. Okay, never mind. That's fine. He's like, nah. Are you going to talk to your grandpa? Who did we invite over? Did we seriously just only invite Ashton? He's the only one here. And also, technically, this is the front of the lot. I didn't realize that. Like, because everybody always shows up here, so... Whoops. It's all right. It's fine. I have no idea. I guess Ashton is the only one we invited over. He's the only one that showed up, so that's okay. Have a deep conversation. I want to see something. I did invite over, but, like, who? I can't see... Oh, event. I can't... Okay, well, he's the only one here, so. Can you change his diaper, please? More choices. Toddler care. Um, all right. Let's just give him a bubble bath. No, Kiyoshi, get back here. I'm going to cheat your need. You're pissing me off. Um. But yeah. Um, I watched a video... I was, like, searching. I'm like, I just wanted directions, but I saw a video, and this girl, like, kind of showed how to do that, and I was like, alright, cool! But the only thing I feel bad is that she couldn't figure out, like, when you take something from a screenshot and you make it really small and stick it in one of those frames, it gets really grainy. I mean, it literally makes Minecraft pixels look, like, high quality, okay? Because, oh, hi! Right, we invited Megumi over. Can we invite Myron and shit over, too? Can you take care of this stupid fucking bastard, please? Thanks. Um, but yeah. Um, and then I, so I was like, yeah, it really does. It looks kind of crappy. So I was like, let me go see if I can figure this out. And then thank God for Sims 4 Studio had like a help topic. Oh, we can sell this kiddo. Um, had a, uh, can also sell your high school homework. Anyway, they had a help thing and someone was asking that about their own stuff. They're like, um, all my shit looks like crap and like it was like whatever and they're like and so anyway, that told me how to do it. Wow, we had other kids' homework. Oh right, okay, all right, we invited Junior over. Oh, they did have a baby, right? Friendly introduction. We don't know Junior. That's interesting. We can call everyone to Grand Meal. Or not. That guy just decided. Why can't we call everyone to Grand Meal? Huh. Well, anyway, grab a serving of the Grand Meal. I hate that it keeps switching on me. I wanted to call everyone to it, but, like, apparently we can't. I don't know. You can come over here and grab a serving. Because you're hungry. You're getting hungry. Why don't you grab a serving? Huh. Um, but apparently now with the new pack and then all the updates that, you know, high chairs might work. And, uh, and we're going to have to actually pay attention to our bastard kids. Because, like, ignoring infants and shit and, like, whatever, and you have to feed them so they can't just go grab food for themselves like toddlers. So this is, like, annoying. I'm gonna have to put effort in. Ow, sorry, bird. But, uh, yeah, so that's kind of fucked up. <laughs> oh, I might age them up fast, is all I'm saying. Or just cheat their needs up. I don't know. Oh, no. Why are you sad? Loss in the family and shared sa- Wait, what? Who died? Bird, so don't you fucking dare. You stop it. Albert, Colorado. Is it because Archer died? I mean, Archer died, but I thought he died a while ago. Did we get a call recently that someone died? Stop it, bird! I will throw you downstairs. You stop being a jerk. It's being a bastard. Anyway, I have no idea what's going on. But yeah, Kiyoshi wearing this, and the, like they're gonna—I'm gonna get. We became acquaintances with Maya. Uh huh. What did someone bring their dog? I don't know what's going on here. Anyway. God damn it, we stop flipping on me? <laughs> on me. All right, why don't we open presents with everybody? Why don't we come here? Wait, what? I thought this was a present pile so that we could use to open presents. What the hell? 
What the frick? I thought that that's a present pile. We're supposed to be able to open presents. What the frick? Where's the present pile that you can open? Those are just decorative presents. Oh, okay. Hold on a second. And I can't go... Because oh, I don't have objects by function. Like, I really hate that holiday. They took that away as an option. That's the stupidest freaking shit. Anyway, let's go to Seasons. Where the hell is Seasons? There it is. And let's go to Decorations. It's not really Decorations, though. But, like, I thought that was... Oh, God damn. Where's the freaking Presents? Gotta open Presents, but we don't... Like, see... But I don't want the big one. There we go. I just want this one. Well, that one's kind of got a turquoise color on it, so I guess that's okay. Let's just... I don't want the big one. We're not going to fit that here. You know what I mean? So it's fine. There we go. Uh, my game is frozen. It's okay. Open presents with Rio and Bree and Ashton and Junior and Nami and Kiyoshi and Indiana. Okay. Oh, okay. Bree is here. Where'd she go? I mean, obviously we invited Bree and... Why is Yamachan here? And we will pay our freaking bills. I didn't know we got goddamn bills. What the hell? When did we get bills? Like, which one is it? God damn it. I hate that. I wish they would. Uh, I wish they would freaking affix that. You don't use a hammer for your house. Put a damn house on it. Who's calling us? I heard you became friends with Ashton. Okay. Yeah, nope. Stop it. You're not going to bed. You can go pee afterward. Jesus Christ, it's only 7 o'clock. You're all driving me bonkers. I have no idea where Bree is. She's supposedly here, but I don't see her. We haven't seen her at all. Is anyone going to open fucking presents? God damn it, just open a fucking present on your own. This is goddamn bullshit. You can't get to this? Why? Because it was too close to the tree? Jesus effing Christ, I hate everybody in this household right now. <laughs> Gonna light this game on fire. It was too close to the tree, we couldn't get to it. Jackasses. I was gonna say, that doesn't look like a good one. A future cube. He isn't particularly happy. Really? Future cubes are cool! And you're a nerd, so you should be happy. Let's come here. Open presents with everybody. Well, we'll do it with Indiana as well again. I have no idea where Bree is. Supposedly freaking here? Are you sure? Are you sure she's not, like, buried alive in the snow? I mean, I've seen Junior walking around and Nanami, but, like, I have not seen Bree. Oh, never mind. Santa went upstairs. Are we gonna, like, do this? Oh, my God. Alright, let's go. Oh, for God's sakes. Nobody knows how to do shit. Oh, for fuck's sake! You all suck! Why will no one open fucking presents? Just come over here and open a goddamn present. Why did you go outside, you little bastard? I'm cold, I'm gonna run inside! You were already inside, you stupid asshole! Damn it, everyone sucks in this house. Where the fuck is this little bastard going? Get the fuck over here and open a damn present. Okay, now you open a present? Jesus. Jazz cat whiskers. Folded laundry. A Billy Doctor playset. Did you get a present? Oh, well, you're gonna go eat, so that's fine. You could come over here and ask for present. I'm going to cheat her peeny up because I don't feel like taking her upstairs to potty train. A yoga mat. Good for you, Kiyoshi. Is everybody going? Everybody just went home. Okay. I don't think Bree was ever here, to be honest with you. But that's all right. I mean, yeah, we didn't get to really spend much time with our family because I was trying to get them to open presents for too long, but whatever. You know what's going to be nice is when the pack comes, we can invite freaking Ashton over to just stay with us for a little while. It'll be so cool. 
It'll be just real nice having everybody come over. All right, well, I think Ashton might have left. The invite over is over. I don't know where everybody is. I don't know where Brie ever was. Because, like, I don't think she was here. Oh, do we have to set this as our front door? Oh, set that as our front door. Maybe everybody came in the back. I don't know. But, like, seriously, where is everybody? Okay, Ashton is old and sleeping in our bed. That's fine. Nami's over there. I don't know who Kiyoshi is waiting for. Nanami's just hanging out in our bathroom. I don't know where Junior went. And I don't think Bree was ever freaking here. Like, yeah. No. I don't think Bree was ever here. Anyway. The invite over is done and everybody is still in my damn house. So, Yoshi, no. I'm going to have you go pee first. Um, Okay, we can just, like, uh, can we send everyone home? Um... Where's just, uh, send everyone home? You need to go take a shower. There is no send all home. I kind of hate that. I know we invited them over, but... Oh, is she leaving? She's leaving. Out our back door, but whatever. Okay, Junior, you need to go home, too. Bye, Felicia. Oh, friendly introduction, Santa. Bye! More choices. I guess we can just go to MC Command Center and... No, I think it's under cheats, is it? God, it's so annoying. I can never remember where the hell it is. Make him leave. Okay, bye. Go away. Bye, Junior! Bye-bye! Oh, he Santa doesn't like us. What do we have with our dad? We're in the adventure club. Adoring. Oh. What's your thing about taco? Oh, he just poofed up the fireplace. We find Junior annoying. He finds us emotionally expressive. Dax, i.e. Santa. He thinks we're an anti-crush. I hope so. You're an elder and we're a teenager, dude. And we think he, he's annoying. That's pretty funny. I do wish that Clement Frost never died and just, like, stayed Clement Frost forever because it is kind of fucking annoying that, like, where are you? Oh, you're sleeping inside the toddler tube? Oh, my God. Oh, that's so cute. Can we assign this bed? You little dummy. Anyway. She's not tired, but we should come have her come up and go to sleep. Have you go to sleep when you're done? Where the hell is Kiyoshi? No, Kiyoshi. Uh, right side to Tonko. Left side to Kiyoshi. I'm going to need you to go pee like I fucking told you, Kiyoshi. I told you to goddamn go to bed. I told you to pee and then, and then he just... Oh, my God. I didn't assign the beds because I forgot that that wasn't their bed. Um, It's also, like, 1 a.m., but I'm going to, like, cheat the energy down so that everybody goes to bed. Like, they're supposed to. You can go to bed. What are you doing? You're fine. Let her... Leave her alone. You can come up here and go to sleep. You shouldn't have been sleeping in that thing the whole time. Okay, so I'm going to cheat their needs down so that they're tired and they're going to bed. You're going to go to bed now. Go to bed, asshole. Leave your freaking sister alone, for fuck's sake. I canceled that already. And I didn't turn on... Okay, hold on. Auto lights, all lights. I had left them on because I was trying to look at shit... Um, my build last night and I was like, crap, all the damn lights are on. <laughs> like, or nobody was in the room, so I couldn't see anything. And I was like, shit. All right, so we gotta put this food. Like, nobody cleaned up after themselves. What a bunch of slobs. There's just plates everywhere. Boop. Oh, why are you awake? Ugh, child. This is what's gonna kill me. 
I hate the toddlers. The infants are going to make me want to, like, choke a bitch. <laughs> we didn't even play that much today. Honestly, we went through and there was just a lot of stuff to do with the house. So, like, I changed everything, so. And also, you shouldn't have had a fucking nightmare. You have a goddamn Kulala lamp in your fucking room to prevent that shit. So, like, ugh. Hey! How dare you! You know what? Go back to bed, you little bastard. Ugh, Kyoshi, go back to sleep. He's like, yeah, okay, well, you know what? Excuse me, what the fuck are you doing? What the actual fuck are you doing? Go sleep in your own fucking bed! Did I click, like, him instead of Kyoshi and tell Kim to sleep instead of Kyoshi? I'm gonna get them so confused! Maybe that was my fault. I don't know. I'm gonna need you to go goddamn to sleep again. Now stop playing. You need to go to bed, you little bastard. Six o'clock in the morning. You're an asshole. You have a freaking Kulala lamp. I know it's, like, over here, but I didn't think it would make a difference. Figured it'd be okay. Well, for Indiana starts in an hour. We're fine. Okay. Kiyoshi, can you give her a bath? Uh, more choices. Not parenting. Shit. Oh, are you going to do it? Talk. Okay. Well, maybe she's going to come ask you for a bath. Look at her stupid walk. Ask for a bath. Good, good. Good for you, girl. Ask for what you need, okay? Ask. Do not be afraid to ask for what you need in life, sister. Because men, the men in this house are idiots. Ed is clipping through the <laughs> You can go pee. Don't be an idiot. Look at you and your little dad bod. You're adorable. I love you. <laughs> oh, my poor baby. Um, I kind of want to go with him, but at the same time, I mean, it is all about him. Uh, I was like, oh, at the same, I was thinking, I'm like, oh, I got to wrap this up before he goes to school, but. We'll just start next week. Um. Oh, yeah. So, obviously, next week, the pack will be out, but not when I record for that stuff. And so, provided there might not be stuff the, the week after, I'll try to remind you again next week as well. But just in case I forget. Because if for some reason, like, the patch comes out on Tuesday... I don't normally record till Saturday, but if for some reason a lot of mods and things and everything's broken and stuff doesn't get updated by Saturday, like, I ain't trying to play with no mods or no custom content or anything. Like, all my sims will be broken. So, we just won't have anything that week. Um, Next week will be fine because we're recording before the patch and everything, so. It's going to be weird. Everyone's going to be like, but all the stuff is out! Not for me, it's not. I record on Saturday. So, you know. But we do have to get pen pals, so we have to work on our postcard collection. We have to complete the aspiration. I cannot wait. We're going to have to have kids. I'm so excited. We have to name our kids after video game characters. And go. Do you already know what names I've already got picked out? I've got names picked out for all of our kids for the rest of eternity, but... Okay, anybody here look interesting? Well, you know what? It doesn't really matter. I mean, not to say that you can't have a high school romance. My birds are now both going nuts. What the hell? Oh, oh, well, that's true. This is the school. I was like, oh, we got a new school. No, this is the same school that Taco would have gone to. Taco and Bree went to. But um, it's just been so long since I've been here that it seems new to me. Because every one of my game saves has a different freaking school. So it's like... Wow, I haven't been here in so long. It seems so different. So different to the one I literally just went to in a different game save. I'm like, wow. I don't remember this, but like this is the one they would have want would have gone to. I think I remember the from here. Oh, thanks, great grandpa. It is nice that I became friends with grandpa. Anyway, so I'm gonna leave this here. We will hang out with our boy. Um we should probably give him a couple more winter and hot weather outfits just because, you know, oh, we didn't learn about the new school from the principal. Well, uh, I hate having to do that, but where is she? Where the fuck is the principal? I'm not sure where her office is. Dear God. Um, uh, 
Um, um, is she still standing outside? No. Oh, the school's too big. I can't figure it out. Is that the janitor guy? Um, these are our classrooms. That's a lecture hall. That's like a thing. Her office must be upstairs, but like, because that's the gym. But like, I don't, that's theater, art, photography class, music. Is this her office? Oh, there she is. Okay, anyway, friendly introduction. But anyway, I'm going to, yeah, so we will continue on his first day of school. We just need to, for him to technically work on his um, postcard collection and stuff like that. And um, learn about new school. But yeah, so we just have to work on his postcard collection and game with his friends. Not that he has friends right now, but it's okay. We'll figure that out. And whatnot. And I might add the other outfits because school, they never wear their, like, everyday. They never wear their clothes. You know what I mean? Whatever. The everyday clothes because the school doesn't have a thermostat. Which is really annoying. But anyway, um, I'm just going to cheat his needs up because they're killing me. So we'll claim a locker after the fact. So whatever. Anyway, I will see you guys next time. Remember to give the video a big thumbs up and subscribe to see more.